So in the recap, we will do a short, very quick uh, overview of what we just discussed. In this case, session 1.1, Legionomics. And we, as you mentioned, or as you might have noticed, uh, do it in a totally different setting, right? So let's go. What we do uh, with the very first section, session 1.1, is basically all about this new ledger technology, where we discussed distributed decentralized ledgers and what the difference was between centralized ledgers. The keynotes here are, of course, the importance of ledgers and, they and the role they play within current day society, uh, the downsides of the current centralized ledgers, which were dishonesty, loss of records, and of course, exclusion, the downsides of distributed ledgers, where, you, where it was quite hard without a coordinating party to order transactions in a timely manner and to tackle, to really tackle the faulty nodes. So these two things compared make a centralized ledger often more efficient in a, uh, in a limited area versus a more inefficient system on a bigger area. So if you compare that bigger area of a decentralized ledger with all these efficient smaller ledgers on a global scale, of course, this one is eventually more uh, efficient as well. And by the way, of course, decentralized ledgers are inefficient by design because we need some time to actually catch up with the single source of truth. So in this case, one key note here as well is that we are in a very interesting moment in time. In this case, we are on the front end of a new form of ledger. And as we've shown you, is this basically means that a new ledger creates a possible new society with new forms of governance, new forms of trust, new forms of economy. And actually, we might now have a shot to solve some problems with the commons. What are commons? What are the problems, etc.? We will learn you all in next sessions. First one up, though, is section 1.2, where we will discuss how does a blockchain actually works. Might be important with a course called blockchain technology as well. Hopefully, see you there.